So you touched on a little bit about diet, right? That, you know, the thing about my, my uh, business, Body Fire, is that we always say to people that you can't um, out-train a bad diet and that whether you're um, into fitness and health, um, you know, or fitness and training, that actually a diet affects everything. It affects your skin, how you sleep, how you recover. From what I can um, talk, you know, what I've discovered from talking to you is that obviously your diet has been probably one area that has been a bit up and down and that when you look back at some of the training camps you've done before UFC fights, you possibly didn't get things right. What have you changed now and what diet have you settled upon? Um, I've still not really settled upon any and, and I don't think that I will. I think that my diet is going to be something that will continue to evolve, kind of like martial arts. You know, it, it, there's, always, there's always a need for tweaking and, you know, cut something off and add something to it. Uh, and, and this year, because I've not had to like gain and lose weight for fights, I've been able to be consistent with my weight and with my diet. I've been able to experiment with a few things. And, uh, and one thing in particular this year is, uh, is animal products. I've been taking a lot of my, out of my diet. And, and the reason for that is, fr from being an athlete when I was younger, you, you drink whey protein and you eat red meat and you and tins of tuna, you know what I mean? And that's kind of like every meal is, okay, I have a protein and then I want some carbohydrates. And you add things after the protein's been added. That's the first thing you put on the list. And it, it, it occurred to me that most of my meals were based around a heavy protein. Like I would eat, you know, chicken and then steak and then, you know what I mean? And a piece of fish. And, and constantly my body was was, was trying to, to digest that while I'm going into another training session. And I don't know I don't know whether I read it or somebody said it to me, but it stuck in my, in my brain. And, um, you know, lions don't, don't hunt on a full stomach. I don't want to be stepping into a, tra into a training session when I've got a gut full of, of animal product that I'm mm. trying to digest. And because it's so taxing on the digestive system, it takes so long. It, it was something that I thought, you know, I could cut down to start with to see if it makes me feel better. And now it's got to the stage where, uh, you know, physically I'm making these decisions because they make me feel better because I'm not taking an animal product out of habit, which is what a lot of people do. If I wake up on a day and I feel like I need a good protein, then I will have a piece of fish or I'll have some eggs or something like that. But because I'm now listening to my body and instead of doing it out of habit, it's got down to, you know, a couple of times a week with animal products. I don't have any dairy or pork. They're things that I just eliminate altogether. So when it comes to animal products, I've had, I think I've had beef three times this year. Um, I have fish probably once a month, twice a month. Um, a little more when I'm in England because the fish and chips, obviously. But, um, <laughs> uh, and, and then eggs is, is a good one as well for me um, because I, obviously that's not a, a, a direct animal product. It's not a, it is a byproduct of animals as opposed to a, you're not taking the, the muscle of something you need to do. So what is your, so when you put your meal composition together, yeah. what is your source of protein? Where, where are you deriving this from? What do you, what do you get it from? Um, I eat a lot, a lot of nuts and seeds, um, and I use, uh, I use uh, rice and pea protein and things like that. Um, I, I do, I do still use, you know, supplement protein, but it's just the, it's not dairy based anymore. Um, and but then, because the focus is now not okay, I'm going to choose my protein and I'm going to build a meal around it. It gives me so much more flexibility to build a meal that's that's not you know, domin dominated by the, the animal product. So, you know, I can have, I, we have great salads. My girl makes awesome salads and we have, you know, avocado and seeds and loads of different kinds of nuts and fruits. And, and that's, that's a, 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 a huge meal, it's a full meal. And I don't feel like I'm hungry at all afterwards. The one thing that, that taking the animal products out and adding more, uh, it, the, the one thing that taking animal products is, out has done is forced me to add more good stuff, more vegetables, more fruits, um, you know, more whole grains, more good fats, things like that. And I'm not finding I'm not I'm needing as much protein as I thought. And I'm also not feeling that it's as taxing on my digestive system as it was. So if you were going to say to the, the guys at Body Fire, the fans who follow us on YouTube, two tips for, your, for, for nutrition, what would it be? What well, would you add? Uh, well, t I, would, I would try, uh, start with a day vegan, just, just to you know, dip your toe in the water, see how it is. Because most people, when they wake up, they think, okay, what's my first meal of the day? What's my animal product? And then that, that becomes the habit for the day. Whereas if you start the day by thinking, what can I eat that's not animal-based, you'll realize you've got a lot more options than you, than you think. So that'd be a good thing. And another thing is fasting as well, which is it's, it's something that's kind of kind of new to me this year as well. Um, and, you know, taking time, taking 16, 18, 48 hours and just letting your body shut down and not have to digest anything. Uh, I use it, the, the first time I started really researching it was when I was traveling to fight, traveling abroad. 
um, and using the fasting to reset my circadian cycle so I didn't get jet lag. So like if I was flying from Vegas to England to fight, I would have breakfast Vegas time in Vegas and then I would fast until I got to England and had breakfast on England time and that would reset my body so I was, you know, not mm. jet lag, that'd be reset. And, and the good thing as well is that usually I'm traveling close to a fight so I can do with losing a couple extra pounds and it gives my body time to, to stop processing and start repairing. Because this is the thing that people don't realize is they think, oh, well, I'm eating protein, so my body's recovering because I'm eating protein. First, your body's got to take the protein apart and you know break it down to amino acids and start distributing it. It's not a quick process. You can't have a piece of steak and then train an hour later and benefit from the proteins that are in the steak. You know what I mean? It, the, the process is so much longer than that. So the, the, the taking the time off and, and the fasting, if it's a, a water fast or a juice fast or whatever, some people can do, do fruit as well. It, it's ju it just allows my body time to, to kind of shut down and take stock and go, okay, well, we need this and we need that. And, and then it can start distributing again from a clean slate without having a whole pile of food to work through first. I'll be honest with you, I have never fasted. And the idea of it, it's making me feel a little bit emotional. <laughs> I, don't, I eat six times a day. I don't know if I could, uh, nuts and seeds and a water fast. It yeah. sounds horrific, but I do, listen, I do know all about that kind of stuff and it's something I'm gonna look into um, because I think that one thing is we've always learned with being in athletes is that you, there's no right or wrong way of doing things and actually um, trying different things and experiencing different things and finding what works for you is integral to everything. You know, people have a perception of diet and that it should be quite, um, has to be tough, have to eat your boring food, you have to eat your animal proteins, have to eat your green veg, nothing else, and that people don't realise that what works for some people doesn't work for everyone else, and you've got to go through that.